All right, I'm here at uh, AWS We Invent 2023. It's day two, and look who I have with me, Alex Ginnibus, right? Ginnibus. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> she's the technical the product marketing here at Alteryx. I'm super excited to chat with her a lot about data stack, about Formula One, analytics, and much more. Uh, welcome to the Robert Show, Alex. Yeah, thanks for stopping by our booth. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure the audience uh, know you, but uh, I'll, why not start with an introduction and then we'll get deeper into the data stack world. Yeah, for sure, sounds good. So I'm a technical product marketing manager at Alteryx, but I specialize in data architecture. So what that means is I spend a lot of time thinking about the data stack and how you combine Alteryx with other technologies like AWS uh, to get more value from it. That's awesome. And uh, since we are here at AWS, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, there are a lot of customers coming in, a lot of prospects. Uh, just a quick question around it. What have you been hearing around the data stack? Are there any challenges that these uh, data leaders, uh, you know, even customers coming and talking about? Oh yeah, 100%. So something I hear about a lot of data stacks today is that they're unusable, they're undrivable. So I like to use Formula One as an analogy right. here. I've yeah. got my hat to be on theme. And we Very have cool. the McLaren simulator here in the booth as well. Yeah. Uh, I like to compare it to getting performance out of a car, right? Because the engine, isn't the only thing that matters. It's yep. also about the drivers, right? Uh, multiple Formula One cars might have the same engine and it's up to the drivers to get the most performance out of that engine. So think of your business users as your drivers, right? Because that's where the value of your data comes from, is True. from your business decisions. Yep. So if the people making the business decisions aren't able to analyze the data and be involved in the analytics process, you're not seeing enough value from your data, right? Uh, the stack's undrivable. And so yeah. I say that because a lot of modern technologies like the data warehouse, right? Yep. If you have Amazon Redshift, for example, they're code-based. They weren't designed for the business user, and that's okay. But you also want to make sure that your business users are involved in your analytics process, not just the prep at the beginning or the dashboard at the end, all the good stuff that happens in the middle, those advanced use cases that yeah. get high value. And so I like to say that if your drivers are your business users and your cloud investment like AWS is your engine, then you need a good steering wheel in the middle. True. And that's true. that easy to use interface like our visual drag and drop tools, right? Our no code tools. We are the easy to use steering wheel yeah. that works in tandem with your AWS services so that we make your data stack drivable. This is amazing. In terms of, uh, you know, and I'll also shift a bit towards the IT engineers and IT managers point of view. So what do you see, uh, you know, what do they have to keep in mind uh, for uh, when they're actually making any decisions or, you know, thinking about having a strong data stack? Yeah. What are your thoughts and what would you like to share about that? Yeah, well, let's see, if you're an IT or a data engineer, uh, it might make you feel cool to know that you have something in common with Formula One drivers, and that is that you're in the business of managing trade-offs. And right, so right. you have to think about, if I'm investing in the future, how do I show value now? How can I reduce costs while still making more money? How can I empower the business while making sure I'm governing the business? You know, you have right. all these things that you have to be managing. And so when you're thinking about making those technology decisions, just make sure you're thinking about how you can keep delivering a consistent experience for your business users, even as everything changes around you. So how are you going to make sure that your company can still get ROI at any stage of modernization? And that's why making your stack self-service, because then you have that consistent UI, even as the engine's changing. So, yeah. You know, when a car changes from gas to hybrid to electric, the steering wheel doesn't change, right? Exactly. Same goes for your data stack, right? You shouldn't have to keep changing your data tools no matter where you're managing and processing your data. So I think uh, the message for IT and data engineering is that if you have that consistent UI that's easy to use, um, it shouldn't matter even as you're evolving your data stack. Uh, you should have that flexibility to yeah. keep your business users involved in the analytics process at every step. This is, a, this is to be honest, I love <laughs> these insights and you know, you have a great analogy in terms of Talking about steering wheel, it takes me to a topic that we were discussing off air and your passion for F1. Yes. Uh, so, can you tell me more? I've actually put down a question that says, how can you show, you know, value from data faster than the world stop, world record pitch stop in F1? Yeah. So, so oh, fun fact: the McLaren <laughs> team, which is an Alteryx customer and partner, they have the world record in Formula One for fastest pit stop. Oh wow! One point eight seconds. That's it. It's like, vroom, vroom, vroom. Exactly, yeah. right. 
Yep. Oh my god. That's how fast some of our workflows can run. Amazing. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but in all seriousness, you know, an accessible UI delivers fast time to value. You can get people up to speed quicker. And yep. you know, when you make this big investment, maybe a committed spend uh, to a cloud provider like AWS, you want to make sure that it's living up to the hype sooner than later, right? You want to be able True. to show that value now instead of waiting months and months. Yeah, hundred um, percent. You do that by enabling people like your business users to start getting those use cases done sooner than later, right? Yeah. So an easy to learn tool that doesn't require code um, gets you up to speed faster, and so you're able to show value within days and weeks instead of months and years. And I like to continue the Formula One analogy uh, with yeah. the rookie driver, uh, Oscar Piastri, he just started, he's a new driver, uh, and he's already just crushing it right off the exactly. bat. Like, he's yeah. living up to the hype, and that's what you want your data stack to do. You want it to live up to the hype, because you've just spent all this money on it, so you want to make sure yeah. that it's uh, making everybody happy and showing that value right off the bat. Love it. I can't wait to see what's uh, coming for uh, all tricks in 2024. I know there are a lot of uh, amazing announcements that are going to happen. Uh, but just for our audience, I know 2024 is just around the corner. Uh, yeah. Do you have any predictions or do you want to share any thoughts that you think that, oh, this will change in 2024? And uh, anything around it. It could be yeah. around Gen AI, it could be around analytics, it could be something about, uh, yeah. you know, Alteryx. Do you want to share something? Yeah, well, you know, can't, it's hard to get through any conversation here without generative AI being involved. True. Of course, we have Aiden. <laughs> Right, Aiden is our AI-powered yeah. uh, technology that underpins a lot of the solutions across our portfolio. So uh, continue looking out there. But in the meantime, I think flexibility is the name of the game. You know, people are managing um, a hybrid situation for right. the foreseeable future. And so I think you should be able to have flexible options for where you choose to build your workflows, where you choose to execute work your workflows, where you keep your data workloads. And so yeah. we uh, have been introducing solutions like cloud execution for desktop, uh, where you can build a workflow in designer desktop, save that to the analytics cloud platform, yep. and run that in your AWS data plane. Uh, so you're able to scale your existing on-prem processes, but in the cloud. So flexible options, combination of approaches. I think that's what we're going to see more of uh, heading into the new year. Aiden is doing the job, I know. I, I, I saw a lot of announcements happening in uh, Inspire London uh, last last month, I guess, and yeah. uh, it was amazing. Can't wait to see what's happening in 2024, but this was amazing, Alex. Uh, thanks for uh, coming on the show and uh, sharing these insights. It's always such a pleasure to chat with you. Absolutely. And looking forward to meeting you soon. Yeah, this is fun. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thank you, everyone, for watching us today.